All right, next is 4.5. To find the standard deviation to one decimal place. So before you can get the standard deviation, you have to get the mean of the data. So you get the mean. So add them all up. So 5 plus 8 plus 9 plus 10. And there are four numbers, so divide by four. So 32 divided by 4 uh, is 8. So the mean is 8. Right, so what we need to do next is, in brackets, we take the first number, 5 minus the mean, the average. 5 minus the average, squared, plus 8 minus the average, or the mean, squared, plus 9 minus the mean, squared, plus 10 minus the mean squared. And divide by, there are four numbers. So 5 minus 8, minus 3. 8 minus 8, 0. 9 minus 8, 1. Uh, 10 minus 8, 2. Minus 3 squared, minus 3 times minus 3 is 9. 0 squared is 0. 1 squared is 1 times 1, not 1 times 2. 1 times 1 is 1, and 2 times 2 is 4. Add them all up, uh, 9 and 1 is 10, and 4 is 14. So 14 over 4. 14 over 4, so 14 over 4 is 7. Alright, and to get the <coughs> SD standard deviation, which I should have wrote there, to get the S standard deviation, you get the square root of 7. The last step. Um, square root of 7 is 2.644. Correct to the one decimal place? 2.6. Alright. So again, what the standard deviation mean? It's, it gives you an indication of how how spread out the data is. So this, this data is pretty close, isn't it? Where's the mean? The mean is at, uh, at 8. And is the data spread out very far from 8? It's not. It's only about 2.6. On a roughly away, on average, away from eight. Huh? Fourteen over four. Oh, yes. Sorry. That's three point five. Uh, square root three point five. One point eight seven. Uh, so standard one decimal place one point eight.